Hi, Polly Readers. It's Polly Writer here today with another video. I am here with the person I've been watching Criminal Minds with this whole time. We're the G Squad. I need to name us. This needs to be like a series. It needs to be a thing. So, uh, basically, if you have watched any videos on my channel for the last three weeks, um, actually, like more than a month, basically, we've been reacting to all the Criminal Minds episodes um, of season 15, which came out and ended last week. So, that's cool. Um, uh, so today is just going to be our review and recap of the entire season. Because we need to talk about it a little bit more in depth, you know, in the context of just talking about it instead of having just watched it or something. Okay, you know what I mean? So without further ado, we're going to start to have a template here. We're just going to go down a line of stuff and we're just going to review it for y'all. First off. Star rating for the whole season. That got to be like a two. Or two. Like that's I love, a two star. I, I mean, I mean two point five. Two point. Okay, yeah, two point five. That's because there are like four good episodes. Yeah. And Which and if it's has ten episodes in the whole, then yeah, that's not even. That's a like F. Yeah. Okay. That's an F. They failed. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay, anywho. Um, so the next, the first thing on my template now is favorite episode of the season and least favorite, and then why. So my favorite episode was probably the Cat Adams one. 1506. Yes, that was my favorite episode too. And why? Because it was fire. Like, it, it was about Reed, it was about yeah. Cat Adams. They're cool, like they're hilarious. I mean, yeah. they're just nice. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We love Reed and Cat, and it was an interesting episode. Right. Plus, it was, it was just episode. fire. It was just like amazing. It, it, was, it, it made me at the end. It did, but like, we don't talk about the end. It was just a great episode, you know what I mean? It was cool, and like it brought us back to the fruition, you know. Like if you look at the rest of the raw reactions, like a couple minutes long because there was not that much good footage because the episodes were so bad. That episode, uh, it was two episodes that aired that night, but still, that episode, 34 type minutes long of the reaction, good times because it was just a good episode. So, least favorite and why? <laughs> So, definitely 15 on 4 Saturday. 15 on 4 Saturday has to be the least favorite episode. I was going to say the finale, but like, no. Y'all have watched because, it. Ah, uh, the finale was pretty bad. The finale was We ain't got a G-Gun, so that's right. Yeah, okay, so, so 15 on 4. four if, you want, if you go watch the reaction, we didn't even know what was going on in the episode. It was We were just sitting funny. around like, because it basically had no plot. That's why we didn't know what was going on. They, did, they, never, had, they didn't have a plot. It was, it was called Saturday, right? And it's not like it was called Saturday because some killer was like killing on Saturday. No. It was called Saturday because it was the day that they were not at work. So, I don't know who even allowed that. Like, how do you, like, like I don't know. They, and it's no not even, they were not, not at work. But, like, Reed went to a therapist, then went out and, like, talked to a random basic woman for, like, an hour. Then, Tara and Emily had to deal with this dude that came in, gonna sue the FBI because they he felt like they were watching him on traffic cams. And then Garcia was being stalked or something on this public forum or something. And oh, Garcia got involved with and garbage, not garbage. Was oh god, disgusting. Um, Luke Alves was like involved in that, and then they went and immediately oh. they found the guy and then all that stuff wrapped up by the end of the episode. The and then for itself, it does like go watch the reaction. Honestly, I'll put it in the description. It's so funny, but like it's so bad because that's not us, but like the reaction of the episode. The episode itself was just ass. Like we made it funny because it was hilariously bad. bad. But the it's episode like itself, like if you watch the episode, trust me, it's not gonna be funny. It's not bad. <laughs> but um, it was kind of funny. I mean, because we were laughing. But still, um, and then at the very end, we thought Reed and Jada were gonna talk and stuff. Um, no, she told him to go. I thought the woman. Man, but like, no, around. she told him to, like right after another another girl, and she was kind of looking after him, smiling and you know shit. And because it's criminal minds, and they want him to, with the most basic woman possible. He was there, and she was there, and then they met up and walked away and got ice cream or something. And then the promo for the next episode after that, 1504, I mean 1505, was hilarious. And that episode was bad too, so I'm not even, like, I don't, I don't know. Before, but 1504, it might have been, it, it might have been. been. I mean, 1504 got was the last Something. 1505 was just terrible. like, uh-uh, I don't even remember It was anything. like, Alvez and Matt were like, they were like, taken by us up. And they got to be the worst. The whole episode, life. they were fighting them, and then they broke out fucking metal handcuffs. And then the FBI came that and everybody was already dead. That's the, that's the worst episode for sure. You're right. Because 1504 was at least a little bit. Yeah. No, but 1505 was just Please. bad. It was bad. Like, no. Just bad. Wasn't that? Wasn't that? Wait, 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 wait. No, that was a different episode. Oh, that I think. was that's, the same month. Yeah, no, okay. No, no, that's no. disgusting. Okay, moving on. The next thing on the list is characters and how they developed. Favorite and least favorite. Okay. So basically, nobody developed worth anything. Read. Oh. 
Reed doesn't need any development. I mean, whatever. Like, Reed is our favorite character, even though he had to get cut off a couple times because he's a rat. But, um, uh, he's definitely the best character in the show and in the season because everybody else is literal trash. Um, least favorite character in the season? Oh, yes. Alvin. No. no, it has to be. Because Matt Simmons is annoying. He had a stamina on screen too many times. But Alvin is, is just next level. Like, he just, just grinds my gears. Every time he's on screen. I'm going to Honestly. Well, I don't want to see not none of them. Like, me either. Me either. And honestly, Jada, you about to be on the list too. Because okay, there is no she reason. She might be the worst character. She might be. Because while we don't like them does not mean they're bad characters. Okay, obviously nobody wants to see them and we don't like them. But still, JJ is really bad no, character. No, because yeah. JJ is a bad character. She had the nerve. She had the nerve. Like, she, she in the first episode, basically, they decided to address G, right? He, she, like, laying on her hospital bed after being shot. And then, basically, she just explaining to Spencer how she loved him always. And was her and he was her first love. And she'll always love him. But Good. she'll always love Will and the boys, too. And somehow, over the 15-year span that she clearly was in love with him, she did never made any moves or anything. Which three of those years had no no such thing as Will in it. So you know what? I'm calling bullshit and JJ does not deserve rights. I'm just saying. Like, I mean she does, but like not really. That's just uh, like if we're just talking about this season, she just does it because it doesn't make any sense. And then the rest unfair. of the season, they, they don't even like interact at all. It's like Jeed, even as friends, is completely destroyed now because y'all want to skate around and beat around the bush. And I mean, what's Reed supposed to do? Like, he was just spending the, the first half of the season depressed um, because he wanted to be with her. And the last half of the season, kicking it with Max, who was like basic and horrible. It's just like, why? Like, what is he supposed to do? Like, so it's all coming back to JJ. No matter her. So. Um, the rest of the characters are just lame because the team is lame, so we're not even like yeah, that. Garcia. <laughs> Garcia, don't, 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 don't talk about her. Don't, don't, don't. Don't no, she don't. gonna be mad at JJ. She was she mad, but that's another thing that she really, she's probably right after JJ as far as people are really made mad because JJ, she, JJ was about to leave the day before. She JJ was, was no, talking she about how she about to she leave. Right. She, she got she a job offer. That she got a job offer in New Orleans. And then, then Garcia like, oh, y'all, let's band together and so make sure she JJ can't leave. leave. Then she the leave. next episode, the next episode, she just makes all these decisions about, yes, I'm definitely going to take this random job I have of the thousands of job offers that I apparently have forever, and I'm just going to leave the BAU, and I'm just going to be gone. And then after that, even, she leaves earlier than she tells him she's going to leave. It's just like, it's just what? Really it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I get taking advantage of opportunities, but woman. That's that bad. If you were that good, you would have had opportunities before, oh, and I mean, you wouldn't have just decided to take it right when it's the finale, and when 30 other people are trying to leave and or retire. It's it made like, me so sad. The that, finale that, was that, just that so didn't bad. Make me sad. Like, I should be sad that Garcia did the 15 year second leave, but I'm not. But no, because it doesn't make sense. Like, I, I, CM writers just have no brain cells whatsoever. They just should not have ended the show. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. The next thing on this list was how interested we were. And, and I, I think on a, like a three or four. On a scale from one to ten, yeah, three. Because it's like, even though, even in the time when we were laughing and maybe we were like kind of interested, we were, I mean, kind of figured out what was going on. We weren't interested. We were kind of just sitting around. Like, if you'll watch the reaction, I cut out a lot of the footage where we're not saying anything. But I was on my phone a lot, kind of looking around a lot, you know, doing other things. We're just looking completely the confused. Yeah, looking at the camera when things definitely happened that we did not want to happen or that just were just ridiculous. So it's like a three. It was just like, it yeah, like, it was like a three. three. Because I was interested, I'm not about, then again, I'm not about yeah, but the majority of the time I was not interested. So. Oh, that's a neutral one. Yeah, and then the last thing was soundtrack. Don't even get me started. I've never seen a season with a worse soundtrack. Soundtrack are usually fire the for Criminal Minds especially. But the, the two most memorable songs I remember is Goodbye and Goodbye that one they played the last episode, and then the one they that they played play at the end of Saturday, the end of Saturday which were bad episodes and in turn bad songs because they did not fit with whatever. Imagine was going on. in the show with. That goodbye. That was not cute. It was that not was cute. It was completely random. It was so cute. obvious. It was like, like yes, we're ending our no show. Cry. Basically, like, no, that's you're not, just like no yelling, you know, like no. yelling at us that they're gonna end the show. It doesn't that's feel like it's like natural. You're just like forcing this on us. It's just like, it was disgusting. Yeah, and it's sad because, but because soundtracks in Criminal Minds usually are fire. Please go play. Like, I don't, I don't understand. They played that one song from Emotion Heat from like season one that we we were watching it um on Netflix all the years ago. Like, imagine being superior and then being 15. Like, I don't, season 15 is just, I don't 15, know. I like the other one. The only song that was like halfway decent was, not even halfway decent, that, was, that song was good. When Reed and Kat walked out. That was fire. That was fire. That was fire. Honestly. That, that fit the scene and everything, I was like, yes. I mean, that that was that's why I have to pray after Exactly. Just, Everything that good that happened in the season happened in the episode, or some stuff happened in different episodes, most of it was in the episode. Okay, that's nice. But anywho, uh, that's basically all, um, 
and all in all this season was a fail it was trash it really just was bad and we're not happy about it but we keep watching all episodes because you know it's good to remember the good stuff instead of the bad stuff exactly. so i hope you guys enjoyed it more than us or actually i don't because they don't deserve people to enjoy it because cm writers deserve to make themselves reboot it because it was so bad but it's fine it's fine um no really we need to sign a petition to like redo the season Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video though, and I'll see you later with another one. We're definitely gonna have a lot of more G videos coming because G deserves rights, okay? We didn't really talk about G in this episode. I mean, it's just video. Because we couldn't because they didn't really exist in this season. But uh, G definitely like took over our lives, and it would have taken over our lives in this season if they actually had had brain cells enough to put it into the season. But they didn't! So we had to sit through 15, I mean, 10 episodes of actual trash and no G, basically. So that was nice, uh, but we love G, and we're gonna be making other G videos like. For instance, we're gonna like read some fan fiction, which is gonna be funny. Um, and we're also gonna read, we're gonna go and watch uh, Back Fork, which okay, is so a movie. Willifer is like the rival ship to G, right? Yes, Willifer is Will and Jennifer Juro, aka JJ, aka basically half of G and her husband. So, yes, right. she's married. They and saw in another movie, the actress and actress for um, Jennifer and yeah. Will. AJ Cook they and star in Josh, another, Josh Stewart. They star they in another, another movie, movie together, together as, a, as husband and wife. So, so we're going to watch we're gonna that. We're going to watch that. And we're going to try not to cry. Yeah, okay. exactly. And when I say cry, I don't mean like, oh, we're going to try not to. No, no we're, we're going to try not to cringe and like, like jump like, off a cliff. Like, because... Okay. We've been like, we heard about the movie, like we know it exists, we've known for like a year now and every time we see it, we kind of laugh because it's that bad, it's just, it looks bad and it doesn't look good. And we just don't like it in the first place because they have to deal with Willifer and, and, and Criminal Minds. Like, and then now they have to like be in another movie and be even worse because it's not Criminal Minds, it's just like, mm. but we're going to watch it and you guys are going to watch and it's going to be really funny. So, stay tuned for that. I love you all. I'll see you later with another video. Bye. Bye.